Hey everybody, it's Paul here at Gillette Castle State Park. Today I'm coming to you from the China Room on the third floor of the castle, and I'm going to tell you about one of Gillette's favorite hobbies, biking. Now, uh, biking could be one of two things. It could either be uh, cycling or motorcycling, and he was actually into both. But today we're going to talk about the motorcycles. Now, uh, William Gillette uh, loved riding motorcycles. Um, as you might imagine from his personality, uh, he was rather adventurous when it came to riding his motorcycles around the property uh, and around the area. Um, so he actually used to speed a lot in local law enforcement. Uh, not the greatest fans of him for that reason. One of his first bikes would have been a Triumph. Later on, he got an Aero car. You can actually see behind me. Uh, we have a picture of William Gillette on the Aero car um, and an advertisement from it. Uh, now. There's a couple fun stories about William Gillette riding his bikes around the area. Um, the first one happened around 1918 or so, uh, so we're talking when the castle was still being constructed. Um, now, he was speeding down the hill towards the ferry landing, and there's actually two versions of the story. Version number one is he saw the ferry was just leaving. He sort of had an evil Knievel kind of moment where he wanted to jump from the shore onto the ferry as it was starting to cross. Um, the other uh, version of the story is just that his brakes simply failed. Either way, he rode his bike right on into the Connecticut River. Now, as I mentioned, the ferry was just leaving, so they were able to pull him onto the ferry. He wanted to actually go back down there, attach a tow line to his bike and get it out. Um, the people on the ferry convinced him that it wasn't a good idea at the time, although eventually they did get the bike out. Um, now, there's another story that takes place around 1925. William Gillette was uh, riding his motorcycle down Route 154 in uh, the Haddam area. Um, he was speeding down 154, and the car in front of him was taking a sharp turn. So he actually collided with the car, and he got knocked off of his bike. Now, the person in the car in front of him happened to be a friend of his who was also a doctor. So the friend went to go check on him. Um, William Gillette was actually knocked unconscious for a couple moments. When he regained consciousness, um, his, he asked his friend what happened. Uh, his friend said, well, there was an accident. And Gillette's response to that was, was I in it? Um, now, he actually got really lucky because he would have been in his early 70s at that point, around 72 years old. Um, he had some minor scrapes and bruises when he got knocked off the bike, but otherwise he did get away uh, unharmed. Um, one issue he did have to deal with uh, afterwards, uh, legal problems. He actually got arrested by the Connecticut State Police for reckless driving. Um, now, he went to go face those charges in court, uh, and he was charged with, as I mentioned, reckless driving. Uh, his uh, response against those charges was to be reckless is to be thoughtless and I never thought so quickly in my life um, that sort of got a chuckle out of the judge as well as other members of the gallery um, and that was enough for him to get the charges dropped so he didn't face any uh, more issues from that there's a little bit on the motorcycles when you come to the castle we have um, the photo and the advertisement behind me um, we actually were really lucky because um, there's a gentleman who used to live in the area named David Perillo, and he actually had a 1922 Nara car um, that he loaned to us, and we had that on display in our visitor center for quite a few years. Um, and uh, we were very lucky that he allowed us to have that as a temporary exhibit. So um, that was pretty cool, but unfortunately, uh, we do not have it anymore um, as he uh, relocated. Um, but that's basically what I have to tell you about today. Uh, make sure you like these videos. Make sure you post any comments or questions you may have. And make sure that you keep sharing these with all your friends and family. And we'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.